In this video, we'll show the basics of selections and selection modes. Let's start by creating a basic polysolid wall. The facts. This basic wall is one solid. It has six surfaces. It has 12 edges. The easiest access points are either on the ribbon or the selection modes toolbar. If we turn on the ribbon, they are in the settings section. To access the toolbars, position the selector in one of the headers and right click. Select BricsCAD and then scroll down to select selection modes. If none of these are selected, then we can directly select the solid. If we select Solid Faces, then our initial selection option will be a face. You can move the mouse to select other faces, or you can push Tab to cycle through different options. If you hover over a face and hold down Control, then the overall solid is highlighted. Now if we enable the Edges selection mode, we have another level of selection options. We can hover or use Tab to highlight an edge. I'm going to select Offset from the quad and create a line on the surface to explain boundaries initially. One thing to note is that you don't need to directly select a solid, surface or edge to perform a command on it. You can just highlight it and then select a command from the quad as just shown. To explain the remaining selection mode, let's draw a few more walls. The original wall now has a longer wall perpendicular to the end of it that is located on either side. Based on our current selection modes, if we wanted to select a surface on this wall, we could only select the full surface. If we enable the boundary selection mode, when we go back to the same surface on the wall, the first option displayed is the boundary between the two walls on the surface. For a preview to the next video on surfaces, we'll highlight the longer boundary. Select BIM Drag from the quad and specify a distance. The result is an interior wall between the two walls. We can also select the boundary created by the line we created on the wall by offsetting the edge. Using Extrude, we can create a void in the wall. We can also use Extrude to increase the size of the wall as well. In this basics video, we showed how the three selection modes can influence the selection options available. In the next video, we'll show how you can work with surfaces in creative ways.